Third stimulus check and third stimulus package. There's great stuff in the third stimulus package, but some items need to get revised, and one item's actually not included. That's the SSI and SSDI, the Social Security and Railroad Benefits. Now, it can be a standalone bill, but viewers and myself don't want to wait too much longer. The question is, what will get into the bill? We'll see the bill as early as next week, because by the end of the day, congressional leaders and the House subcommittees will finalize it and get it ready for a vote in the House. And when passed in the House, it goes to the Senate. And when passed to the Senate, it goes to the President. The time frame is really great news. But are the deal provisions exactly on point? In this video, I go over them on a big update with a lot of details on Third Simmons Check and Third Simmons Package. Hey, good afternoon, everybody. It's a third single check and third single package on your afternoon's L.A. schedule. Right after this, I'm back live with the new hit show on this channel, What the Chuck. But boy, there's so much happening across the board. The third stimulus package will get finalized as a bill in the House of Representatives subcommittees today. And that bill will be called for a vote early next week in the House of Representatives. From there, it'll go to the Senate for approval. What's going to happen? Make sure you subscribe because you don't want to miss a minute across what's going to happen in the next few days. I'm recording 24-7 and I'm the most in-depth to the minute and the most updated channel with, vo uh, with videos from 1 a.m. to 1 a.m. the next day. So make sure you subscribe. We're at 376,000 subscribers, a YouTube record, and we continue to push up forward. Meantime, like this video. And if you've not become a member, consider becoming a member. Click the join link in the pinned comment in the top of the description and also in the bottom of the video. In today's recording, I go over what's in the third stimulus package and there's executive orders. We haven't looked at those executive orders in a couple of days. There's a lot of great stuff. And despite whatever walk of life you're from, this video will show you that there's two, three, four items for each of you you can get. And with that, Let's get to the breaking news. The breaking news is that after a series of very, very wonderful executive orders last week, Joe Biden is back today with the first step to finalize the third stimulus package bill. The House has the bill, House of Representatives. It's in the subcommittees, and the subcommittees are finalizing it for a vote by the end of today. Now, some of the provisions of the third stimulus package are great. Some of them are a little bit uh, off, and then one or two are actually missing. In this video, let me go over them one at a time. First, the video before this explained. The multiple stimulus checks not in there. In fact, the new $2,000 stimulus check for 2021, not in there at all. Only a $1,400 fix-it stimulus check from last year, and $3,200 for adult dependents. It should actually be... $1,400 plus $2,000 and $3,200 plus $2,000. Remember, if you're on SSI or SSDI or Social Security or Railroad Benefits, you get the same thing as everyone else, whether you're an adult dependent or not. Then, FPUC, not particularly where it's supposed to be. You are promised FPUC retro and you are promised FPUC at $600 a week. The bill proposal says $400 a week from now to September. Not what was promised. The extension of UI, the extension of PUA, also from now to September. And finally, SSI and SSDI, Social Security Railroad Benefits, that $200 a month that goes on top of your benefits, which I've detailed extensively across this channel, and the new benchmark that would increase your benefits annually at the end of the year, and the one-time step up that would raise your benefits upwards of about 20%, all three items... Nowhere to be seen. Nowhere to be seen. Now, you certainly heard me say all throughout October, November, December, and January that it's supposed to be a standalone bill. Earlier today, I asked viewers, would you prefer it as a standalone bill or not a standalone bill? And actually, 50% of viewers said they still prefer it as a standalone bill. I prefer it as a standalone bill. Also, I like it too. 
But then I asked viewers, when do you think the standalone bill should be done? And they said, about two months ago it should have been done. So my concern stems from the following. About a week ago, I saw a series of news reports that says Joe Biden, as a one-term president, because he says it's only going to be one term, wants to leave his legacy as fixing the system for Social Security and benefits, and that he hopes to get to that next year. Well, as soon as I heard that next year, it made me very uncomfortable. And it made viewers uncomfortable as well. And especially what made me uncomfortable is Joe Biden's $200 a month is in addition to a stimulus check. You would get a stimulus check and this, but he says you need this $200 a month because you need it because of the pandemic. So why would you get it next year? The pandemic's this year. That's why the push to get this done right now is underway. Three campaigns one day underway right now. Hashtag MSC, hashtag FBC Retro, and hashtag SS200. What's a hashtag campaign? You want to go on social media like Twitter and tweet your elected officials with the campaigns SS, hashtag SS200 to refer to the second, to refer to the SSI and SSDI $200 a month. Hashtag FPUC Retro to refer to the $600 a month that was promised to you from July to the present. And finally, MSC. You know, earlier today I asked viewers as well, what were their thoughts about FPUC Retro? And this is what they universally agreed. They said, hey, you want to pay under the third stimulus package, FPUC going forward now to September? That's nearly 40 months. You want to pay 40 months of unemployment for people unemployed in 2021. But for people unemployed from July to December of last year, you don't want to pay them a penny? Viewers said, when asked which of the two years the money is more important, they said 2020, because people's lives were at risk in 2020 far more than they're alive at risk now. They said it's unfair that you would give $400 a week for 40 weeks in 2021, but zero for FPUC for 20 plus weeks in 2020. They said either take back some of 2021's numbers and put them into 2020 and pay those people, or just make it even. Ironically, we have very little clarity about these issues. We don't know why something's not in there. We don't know why something's gone. We don't know why the number's $400, not $600. And ironically, if we knew why, we would have more clarity as to the push. But the followers of this channel, the Purple Power, are pushing with those three hashtag campaigns. Because by the end of today, the window may be closed. Now understand, you could still get an SSI, SSDI, Social Security, or Railroad Benefits add-on, st standalone bill done after this. And we certainly have seen that the teachers and the schools have their own standalone bill coming up next. And the highways and the railroads have their next standalone bill coming around as next. But let's look at the numbers under the third stimulus package. FPUC to, Mar to September, uh, UI to September, uh, business grants to September, eviction moratorium and mortgage forbearance to September under executive orders, SNAP to December. Most of these things look like these are stimulus, this, this, this is a stimulus package to get you to the end of the pandemic. So if we're doing a stimulus package to get us to the end of the pandemic, then you would certainly want things in there to get you to the end of the pandemic, like the items we just mentioned. Now, the executive orders signed by President Biden a few days ago are absolutely incredible. These, those are the following. SNAP benefits are now increased for an entire year. 15% increase across the board for one year. What is SNAP? SNAP you get by reaching out to the Department of Agriculture. What is it? It's free food. And what happens under these packages? Increase for 15% for one year. It's all really incredible great news. A family of four in Hawaii gets about $1,400 a month. Next, PEBT is extended for a 15% increase nationally for about six months. What is PEBT? It's manual. You need to call up about this. If you're already on SNAP, you reach out to the Department of Agriculture say, Hi, my child's staying home because of the pandemic. I need to get some PEBT. How much are you going to get? You're going to get about 15% increase on top of what it normally pays, which is about $114 a month. All right, next, 
The third, other four items under the executive orders of a few days are all really great news. Eviction moratorium under CDC to September. Mortgage forbearance, which is federal mortgage forbearance, to September. And finally, federal contractors must pay $15 an hour and also pay paid sick leave. Meantime, student loan forgiveness is under a moratorium now for repayment until September as well. Elsewhere across the board, there's a lot of confusion about some of the other items. And the reason why there's confusion is because there's no clarity. And as soon as we see the new bill on Monday or Tuesday, boy, you're going to see a lot of recordings from this channel. Because we've had very little clarity about the items otherwise mentioned in the bill. What are those other items? Hazard pay. Who gets hazard pay? How much? What months? Who applies? On the Overnight to LA video of Hazard Pay, viewers join me every night at 10 p.m. Pacific, Pacific Standard Time for a live chat. And that video is on fire because a lot of people qualify for Hazard Pay. Hazard Pay is for essential workers. The time frame of Hazard Pay may be from January of 2020 to 60 days after the pandemic ends. The payment of hazard pay may be $13 an hour for all those hours you worked, whether full-time, part-time, or overtime. The calculation may be up to a $10,000 payout. Unless you made over $100,000, then you would get $5,000 under 2019 earnings calculations. And the eligibility may include almost everyone except sort of general retail. But the question is, will that happen? The items and the details and the numbers I just cited were from Nancy Pelosi's hazard pay bill of May 2020. And how about the business grants and the business loans? Not clear either. We know there's a business grant to give business to give businesses existing out of the pandemic an additional grant of money. Now, how much, who, where, and how? Not particularly clear. And some viewers have not been particularly happy with how this government has dealt with business grants during this pandemic. The example is the following. Under the first stimulus package, people were supposed to get $10,000 when they applied for the EIDL grant within three days. The application said that and the law said that. To this day, some people have not gotten the remainder of the $10,000 EIDL grant. But the great news is that 2020 applicants who applied in 2020 are getting the remainder if they were low income. And that everyone else from 2020 is getting it thereafter. But there's other issues. 2021 was supposed to start with a new EIDL grant for low income and for agriculture. It hasn't even started. So is this new grant program going to be different than EID, EIDL? By all accounts, it will. Will it complement or will it contradict? We don't know. And will there be a business loan? There will. It will be a bit new business loans for people who want to go get a business loan to start a business. But will this business loan be like PPP? In the case of PPP, which is now live on the second stimulus, you don't need credit and you don't need collateral. But in the case of EIDL loans, you need both when you're over $25,000. So suddenly you see how the government can sort of do something really good or do it not so good at all. Pay sick leave is another third stimulus package. It's $1,400. How is it calculated? Based upon a $73,000 annual salary. Who gets it? Four groups of people. They're all based upon someone who's staying home from work based upon four scenarios. The first scenario, you have COVID. Second scenario, family member has COVID. Third scenario, you have to quarantine. And fourth scenario, your child's school is closed. So there's four scenarios when you have to stay home to take care of someone from work. Remember, this is from one for working people that have to stay home. If you don't have a job, you don't qualify for this. Ultimately, across the board, under third stimulus, there's no less than three or four items that every viewer of this channel qualifies for. If you're low income or SSI, SSDI, you qualify for rent, utilities, food, child care, and internet. Wow, was that six? <laughs> that was a lot. If you're business, business grants or business loans also. Parents, you get the paid sick leave if kids' school is closed. Also, you get two tax credits. And hazard pay, you get hazard pay and hazard pay. There's a hazard pay tax credit and a normal hazard pay. But what about those tax credits? Those have been a real realm of confusion.
If you're thinking about a tax credit for purposes of stimulus, it's not particularly a lot of money. And it's not particularly a new thing either. Those tax credits are currently on the books. If you're listening to videos and wondering about tax credits, look up the current tax credit as written. Joe Biden's modification, a few dollars here and the age from 16 to 17, not very big deal. The big deal, FPUC Retro, hazard pay, EI business grants, business loans, stimulus checks, and of course, SSI and SSDI, $200 a month. It needs to be done right. And so you need to take this video and tag the elected officials because in the next seven days, you could see this going from no publicly released bill to a bill that's actually approved in the House and approved in the Senate. This is going to move very quickly, and so you have to be ready to pounce. So consider becoming a member. Click that member link in this video. Become a Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Calcino VIP. As a member, you get access to PDFs to explain the 22 items that are in the stimulus package before anyone else. You get details as to how to prepare to pounce, because all these things are generally first come, first serve. You don't want to be last on the boat, on the ball. And you also see how you can get a lot of stimulus for a, a lot of different situations because of this channel. So consider becoming a member. Also, subscribe to this channel as we continue to grow and continue to help more people. Finally, if you need help with rent and utilities, reach out to the volunteers in the pinned comment. Stay informed, stay focused, and stay about life for more.